you know, I, I, I really do hope one day he gets his credit. I hope somebody like Eminem get their credit because that's always so freaking controversial and debatable where M stands in the culture. And to me, he's one of the craziest, I mean, he's coldest pop. rappers. But Eminem was considered pop. If, if yes, that's and that's he he was considered pop, but he was so freaking dangerous on that microphone, man. He like, was. like you you can't take that away from him. So it, I'm sure this is a debate that's going to be going on for the entirety of hip hop. Um, and here we go again. Oh, more sad news in the world of hip hop. Um. Yo Gotti's brother, Big Juke, gunned down, killed right after attending a funeral. You know, people online, everybody has speculations and people were saying that it's related. And, and, and you know, I, I almost don't like to put this out there because it, it, it fans a flame that we have no basis if it's rooted in facts or not, but people are saying it's related to Young Dolph's murder, which happened over two years ago. What is your thoughts on just the ever going violence in hip hop, man? Man, you know what's so crazy? Naturally, um, I always say this, life is based on a cycle of balance. I always say this, balance. It's live, die, up, down, on, off, in, out, me, you, you know, day, night. Um, it's almost like a cause and effect type of thing. And sometimes I think that because as a society, we believe that when this happens, revenge, retaliation comes, right? But let's take the notion that this wasn't none of Dolph's people that got, got at you. Let's, let, let's say it wasn't none of Dolph's people. Let's say like you just spoke on Drake being on for what? You say about 16 years straight? Gotti, Gotti been on about 20 years. Maybe, Easy. Yeah. I'm, Easy. I'm, I'm gonna say 22 because I remember, I remember my brother-in-law Josh coming back. You heard Yo Gotti? You heard Yo Gotti? I was like, who? He's like Yo Gotti? I said somebody named Yo Gotti. So I had never heard of Gotti. I, I remember that I had just had my daughter Coco, and I'm like, is his name Yo Gotti? And he played me Gotti's song. He just kept asking, but I never heard the music. He played me that one Gotti record, and I never stopped hearing Yo Gotti's name from that moment. Right? They've had such a long run and a successful run, you don't know who's jealous of these guys. You don't know who may have feel, felt played, who may have felt left out, who may have felt crossed out. You don't know. But the reason I talked about the balance and the cause and effect, because there was something that happened to, you know, somebody that they considered the op, Dolph, people are gonna automatically give that credit to his people and say that that was lick back. But you really don't know because we don't. It, it could be something as simple as, uh, and I say this respectfully, I'm not, you know, because I really don't want to speak on that because it is so fresh, and I know that, you know, the people that love him are very pretty sensitive about this this, this subject matter at the moment and will be for some time, I'm sure of that. So I say this respectfully. We don't know if somebody mad because that man done smashed his lady. You know what I'm saying? And that fast, we automatically credit Dolph's people with the lick back. It might have had nothing to do with Dolph. Might not have had nothing to do with Dolph people, I should say. You know, but we are so quick to say, oh, that was get back. People spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning, and I just think we live in a we we live in a in a space now where you truly got to keep your head on a swivel, man. Because 
every time I look up, every, every time I come on here, we're talking about another person from our community, another person that looks like us, another person who has had some type of success leaving kids behind, leaving family behind. And we're talking about how they've been gunned down, you know. And I'm, me personally, I'm just sick of this narrative. I'm sick of the conversation. Uh, that doesn't mean it's going to stop, you know what I'm saying? But I do, I do think that it will be a lot that comes behind this. I'm sure it will be. And I, I pray that it's not more bloodshed. But again, when we speak of cause and effect and balance, that word balance is, is real. And people want to balance it out. It's called getting even. You know, when they say even, we, we here, we neck and neck, right? And that's, yep. what, that's what people think, balance. That's, we balance it out, right, I'm balanced. Am I balanced right now? Am I left and right like that? That's balance, you know? And that means we're even. And, and to get balance, you take one of mine, I got to take one of yours. And I'm and and it, and it appears that that could be happening. I mean, uh, let's let's say this: uh, black youngster just lost his brother months ago. Yep. You know, I don't live in Memphis, so I don't know what the locals know. I'm not privy to what's going on in the streets of Memphis. I hear stuff. I got friends out that way. I got family out that way. But I'm not involving myself in those conversations because, to be honest with you, some things and some energy is better left where it is. And I'm going to say that respectfully as I can. Some shit I don't want to know. I don't want to be involved. You know what I'm saying? I don't want some shit I don't want to be able to regurgitate. I don't want somebody having a conversation and because I know what's going on, you know, it got nothing to do with me. I don't want to be like, well, you know, X, Y, Z. So I'm telling you this, why that happened. And they, they was waiting because of it. I don't want to do none of that. I just really would, I would love for this senseless um, violence and bloodshed to just cease, man. And of course we know, we know. I don't even have to say it. We know it's, it's not that easy, brother. It ain't that easy, dog. It ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. Nah, it's not. It's not. Um, you're absolutely right, and um, it 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 is disheartening that literally every time we sit down, we're having the same exact conversation. The same exact conversation. Yes. Every single time we sit down. That shit, it's gonna um, leave a pit in your stomach, man. Like, damn, like. And it's unfortunate because you almost can't get through an interview without bringing this up. E even, even, even if I wanted to do a, an interview and sit down and conversate with you, I, I, you know, how do you work around what, what, what's in your face and, 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 and it's, it's current. It's not like this happened last week. It's not like this is right here, right now. I just Dog, pray. Listen, man, you know, I was in Vegas when I got that news about takeoff, right? Mm -hmm. Came on here, we spoke about takeoff. And I said what I said on that interview, on that particular uh, one we did. And I said, I don't want us to have to talk about this every time we sit down, bro. But and th we, that was your words verbatim. But we have to address it because it is prevalent. It's happening amongst us every day, all day, day and night. This shit is happening, bro. Turn right back around and we came back with uh, P and B Rock. That shows you right there how much this shit happening. We couldn't even, it, it took three people to say his name to figure it out. Because today you're in the headlines, you're, you're, you're amongst the talk on the news, podcasts, in the streets, and tomorrow it's another brother, and tomorrow it's another brother, and the next day it's another brother, to the point where you damn near can't even remember everybody's name. 
It happens so often, so often. We talked about trouble, you know, that happened. It's like every time we come on here, we 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 talking about it because it's happening. I think I think that um, we're in a space where people heartless, dog. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Niggas heartless. It's it's just what it is. It's like a condition. You know, it's a condition. It's like I've callousized my emotional outlook. It's just hard. It's just it's, it's cold. It's it's I don't care. You know, me me before you. I'm gonna put me before you. That's that's the mindset. So people gonna bring it to your front door if they got to, just to make sure they could they could sleep at night. Sometimes that's just how it is. And we 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 living in a day and age, man. Well, yo. You niggas will bust your ass and don't kill broad daylight, and it's happening. It's happening. Like most of these, like like most of these murders we talking about, what they happening at broad daylight? Let's be for real. If you just name the three names, I think, well, not the three, but just just t let's let's take Dolph broad daylight at the cookie shop, right? Juke. It's out of, after a repass, dog. P and B Rock. Broad daylight. <laughs> Roscoe's chicken and waffle. I'm starting to think, let, you know what? Some appearances just can't be made. Food, funerals, birthday parties, weddings, etc. Because nobody cares no more. People don't care about innocent bystanders. People not caring, dog. It's just, it's happening. Niggas is spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Like, it's happening every day, all day, man. It's just, it's... It's frustrating. I got kids, man. You know, I always tell my kids, you know, I got a, my son who here with me right now, man. Great guy. Good kid. Straight A student. You know, captain of the football team. This brother going to going off to college, full ride, like everything. But in his moments, because he's so deserving of things that I don't want to tell him no. Like, Dad, I want to go over to this party, have a little house party. I'm like, I was your age once, son, and I know how bad you want to be there in prison, but I also know that sometimes it be the good ones that go first, and I just don't want you to even subject yourself to the probability of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I find myself having to try to justify why I don't want you there. You know what I'm saying? I have to find myself trying to, and it turns into me being the parent. Oh, oh man, you know, I don't... I don't really think that's a good place to be. He looking at me like, Dad, that's lame as hell. You done told me a million stories of stuff you went through. You made it. You know, it, I'm blowed on that. I'm, I'm off of it, man. That's shit. Mm. Nah, I get it. And I think any and every parent that is um, watching or listening to this, we share your sentiments wholeheartedly, 100%. Uh, because at the end of the day, our love for our children trumps everything. And you want to see them have a full life. You want to see them live and go through experiences. But you, we also see, here's the deal. When, when, when you're talking about young people or kids, to them, it, it, it would never happen to them. Yeah, They're, they're immortal. They're, they're going to get old. But us as adults and as parents, we know the sad realities of the world we're living in. And unfortunate, you know, a lot of times you bump heads, not just with your children, but with your own inner your thoughts. Own peer. Do I let them go? Your exactly. Own peer group, your own peer circle. I always yep. tell people, people I was like, bro, man, we done did this mean time, it ain't never happened. Well, you only gonna die one time. That's it. <laughs> That's it. So it may have never happened, but when the time comes, it comes. And then there we are. Standing over you like, damn, dog, don't even want to touch it, but I don't want to seem like I don't want to touch it, but I got to touch a cold-ass hand in this casket. Like, yo, dog, it's enough of that shit, man. Like, I'm, man.